Hey guys, this isn't the video that I said I was going to upload because I'm having some issues with Proton and the AMD drivers at the moment with Elite Dangerous only, so this is an Elite Dangerous only problem. I will upload the video about Elite Dangerous and getting it to run by the end of the week regardless of if this problem is resolved. This happens with both the Rad V drivers and the AMD VLK drivers. So what happens is the game does run, but it is entirely too bright and I don't understand why. My opinion is that during this awful update that Frontier released that I'm going to rant about now, they changed something in the lighting engine again. Um, and so the game renders way too bright. And so it's unplayable in regards to it's just visually not fun to look at at the moment. And it was working fine last time I played the game a month ago. So it was something that happened either with Mesa or with the uh september update and my money is on the september update and i'll get to that so i'm fed up with frontier developments i'm fed up with the way that they interact with the community i'm fed up with the lack of quality testing that goes into the updates for their game that could be the game for people like me to play who love sci-fi simulators i grew up playing mech warrior wing commander independence war free space games like that and all i've seen from elite dangerous since the launch of horizons is one bad update after another and it's getting to the point where it's like when is this game going to improve and so a lot of people uh content creators for elite dangerous obsidian ant the yamix uh some of the old sdc guys uh stellar combat initiative um the canon even like a lot of the people that normally huff frontiers farts are fed up with this they're fed up with the lack of transparency from the company and they confronted them about it with an open letter to frontier and frontier's response was well we have been transparent about where the game's going we've uh shown you guys our development roadmap and so on and so forth and i call bullshit i think that that's absolute bullshit because they've not stuck to their development roadmap very well in terms of timeline they have gotten the features out in somewhat the order they claim that they're going to get them out but not necessarily not necessarily on the time frame that they're getting them out so anytime we get mad or we're like where's the content they show us some screenshots or some concept art which is what people accuse star citizen of doing and frontiers getting away with it because they had a playable game first and that's what really bothers me about it and i'm not here to say that star citizen is anywhere near as playable as elite dangerous is right now it's not i've been playing star citizen lately too and it is a nightmare but when you release an update, a small update that's supposed to be a bug fix update that ends up turning into the premium cash shop update that breaks every other component of the game that wasn't tested, you have a really big problem on your hands, especially with a community that's starved for content in a game that has one of the most unrewarding gameplay loops I've ever seen. So they release this update in September, which introduces ARCs, which is a premium currency for Elite Dangerous, which is fine. I'm okay with them selling some cos cosmetics with a premium currency as, as opposed to just straight through the cash shop because you can earn the premium currency in game. I'm not going to get into the semantics of that. I think that the rate at which you can earn it is really ridiculously low. I think that it needs to be doubled and then it would be reasonable. I also think that there need to be things like paint jobs and so on that you can buy with in-game currency as well. Um, that's all well and good. But really, what needs to happen for this game is just quality testing, an open test server that's on all the time. Frontier says they're being transparent about the roadmap, but they neglect to acknowledge the fact that we were supposed to get fleet carriers this time last year and didn't find out that they weren't coming until about three weeks before the update was supposed to roll out. We were also supposed to get reworked ice worlds, and we didn't get those. And I understand that most of the development team is working on the beyond, beyond update, the, the new update for next year. But the problem is that we have these bugs that have been persistent since 2014 and 2015 that haven't been fixed. And the company's release cycle seems to be add a feature, patch it a few times, never complete the feature, move on and ignore the feature. And I fear that that's what's going to happen with fleet carriers because it's what happened with engineers until people started griefing using the engineer updates. Um, with Smiling Dog Crew did, uh, 
feelies for feelies and operation spicy boys or whatever and uh a lot of people were really pissed about that but it was the only way to get frontier's attention um the last major balancing pass we had was when the shield cell bank nerf happened right before horizons came out in the winter of uh 2015 um and i just feel like frontier has completely lost touch with us as a community and i do think that Elite is still their major money maker by comparison to uh, Planet Coaster, or, uh, Operation Genesis, or not Operation Genesis, Jurassic World Evolution, because uh, Planet Coaster and Operation or <laughs> Jurassic World uh, Evolution are severely lacking by comparison to Roller Coaster Tycoon Three and Operation Genesis, and that's why I keep making that mistake is because I would rather play Operation Genesis, and it just it really bothers me that frontier is going to sit here and claim that they're interacting with the community and they're being transparent when they're not and they're not bug testing this things with like fleet carriers if this was eve online and we were getting a feature like that like say we could move our entire station or something like that um which i think it's it would be in the test server for six months before it even reached the game now we're looking at an update that's coming out in like six weeks and we still don't have any idea how it impacts the existing gameplay. Uh, Engineers is still ridiculously broken. Uh, power play is unplayable because th the, there's nothing to gain from it if you're not picking Zach Hudson or uh, uh, Aceling Duvall or ALD if you want the multi-fire railgun, but it's not all that useful anymore. Uh, the advanced plasma accelerator. Like, there's a few useful things in pack counts. Like, there's four modules that people get, and all the other modules have been invalidated by engineering. Which is fine. Just remove power play from the game. Because it's obvious you don't care about it. Stop pushing it forward, because new players get involved in it, and then they're like, well, what the fuck do I do? You know? Um... So it just, it really, really pisses me off that they took this stance on the Reddit. And I'll link the thread, um, because I think that it's incredibly disingenuous to tell people you're being transparent and then cite a few posts that you've made about the development roadmap and disregard the complaints about all the bugs that have persisted for the past four or five years in your game. Um, it'd be different if the bugs were being fixed. Uh, and that's really the big problem, is what can we expect from this paid update when the content that we've gotten from the last paid update is all broken or boring, there's nothing to do on the surface of planets. The Thargoid content is uninteresting. The Guardians content is boring as far as I'm concerned. You get some cool modules and uh, an FSD range booster. You know, it. that's all. And all anybody does is mission board flip for the, uh, the Guardian content. They don't... Because it, why would you spend 20 hours scanning sites when you can just log in and out at the same site over and over again it's it's really really infuriating that uh they want to say that people don't mission board flip but when the last gold rush happened for uh surface sites for example when i got to the place where that was happening all it was was like 200 commanders on landing pads logging in and out of solo and single player mode to stack up the same mission over and over again so they could complete it so i don't want to it even come close to acknowledge the fact that they believe that it's only a set few commanders that are doing the board flipping every person i know and have talked to were doing board flipping back then and that needed to be addressed the mission board and system need to be completely redone um and like the core fundamental pieces of the game are broken right now so that's my rant on it i i'm really fed up with frontier I really thought we were going to get something cool with fleet carriers, but I really am pessimistic about it now. Um, not only that, I want to touch on a couple other things. When Elite Dangerous first got announced on Kickstarter, there was supposed to be a Mac port. The Mac port for OS X is no longer available, and it's not necessarily Frontier's fault, but it also is, and they could have offered some alternatives. Um, so, they could have ported the game to Vulcan uh, and allowed. Uh, OS X players the option to use Linux instead of having to opt into Windows to continue playing the game if they weren't opting into their refund. Um, and yes, the game does run on Linux now, but not natively, and we're not seeing any support for it. And the reason why that support was dropped is because OS X doesn't support the newest compute shaders. 
and I understand that, but they kept telling the OSX players that they were going to get Horizons eventually, and then finally, this time last year, said, no, we're dropping support for the OSX platform entirely. As uh, So they led these users on for a very long time before acknowledging the fact that they couldn't pull this off. And that really bothers me because it shows how disingenuous the developer is. They should have outright said, we're having problems getting this functionality working on your platform. And uh, then I feel like that would have been honest and reasonable. And so we keep we keep getting these issues with Frontier where they, they say one thing, it takes too long, and then it, it's poorly implemented or it doesn't get implemented at all. So... Why would you trust them to implement a system like Space Legs or Atmospherics correctly right now when they can't even design the core portions of their game correctly? Um, this was an unstructured rant, so I apologize for it. The other thing, the last thing I want to get at is Tencent owns 8% of Frontier. Bye. <laughs>